now, we have proof that alien spacecraft do exist. If not, what is the reason for this bizarre design? Confused? Well, believe it or not, the truth is out there. I was out for a Sunday walk and I uh, was trying to find a nice watering hole, a nice pub. The part next to the pub was this machine for sale. So I sat in the pub having a pint with the, uh, the guy who owned it and uh, friends and missus just laughed at the mad idea I had. And uh, it took me six months to sort of get my head around it and sort of plan it and um, sort of uh, speak to the right people about it really. Uh, but the boat safety um, guys were really helpful and so was the environmental agency for the Thames. Um, basically they said if, we, if I can get this passed uh, on a boat safety certificate uh, there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to run and work this off the Thames. So uh, as a tree surgeon that's the, uh, that's the idea I wanted to do. Twenty-four tonnes without the bridge. It's 40 feet long, it's uh, 10 feet wide. Uh, at the moment it stands at uh, 14 foot 10 tall. Um, in the water obviously the wheels will come up and it will sit in the water by about, it's got a draft of about a metre. Um, so yeah, it's able to go up the uh, River Thames to about Oxford before the bridges get too low. Driving it is quite straightforward. Um, it's got very good air brakes on it um, and other systems involved. Power steering, although it's still quite heavy, uh, and you are sitting in front of the wheels, so you have to get to the junction first and then turn it. Um, being 10 feet wide, I do have to have a police waiver to be allowed to drive it 25 movements a year. Uh, so you do have to plan your route as far as roadworks, bridges and weight, weight limits and stuff. It's actually tax exempt and it's MOT exempt and because it's 1958 I can actually drive it on the road with a normal license even though it's 24 tonnes. Uh, classic insurance is only uh, £85 a year. It has a V12 12 litre air cooled diesel engine. Every single barrel of it is a, is a, is a separate piston. Uh, which makes it very easy to maintain uh, overhead overhead um, rockers on it. Uh, the gearbox again has a uh, six speed forward and one reverse with high and low ratio uh, and it's front wheel drive um, uh, to make it the four wheel drive as well. Miles per gallon, it does uh, four miles to the gallon uh, but it is run on red diesel um, as a boat. Uh, and in the water it does three gallons per nautical mile, so it really drinks it in the water. I have to rent a barn for the local farmer to keep it in there. Uh, and uh, I wouldn't say divorce is on the cards, but uh, the wife isn't too pleased about it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, I aim to build a living quarters on, on the back of it and uh, have it as, a, as, a, as a, say, a living working boat. And as long as I build it to sort of habitat standards, you might consider living with me on it, but otherwise um, <laughs> we might end up splitting up with this rate. <laughs> In the water, the wheels retract up into the hull to create a more streamlined shape. However, it takes Louis another three months to finally test his Gilois out on the water. The question is, after treble checking the bilge pump, seals and plugs, is he happy? As an amphibious bridge, obviously this would go along with a group of other similar vehicles and they would all get into the water and line up and the bridge would actually come off at 90 degrees and lock into the next one and depending how wide the river was, they'd have it as a, a bridge being built that way. It can also be used as a, as a tank transporter. You can actually put, put a tank on here and drive this across and unload that instead. So uh, yeah, it's a very versatile machine. I, I spoke to the boat safety examiner um, and because this will do 10 knots, he said there's no reason why I shouldn't sail it to France next year. There's the, uh, the D-Day landing next year and we aim to uh, take this across with other, other boats and torpedo boats and stuff and go across the channel. Uh, fingers crossed, <laughs> it does the same. I've got a diver on board as well. <laughs> Right, so the wheels at the wrong angle. I've got the front wheel steering rock. So, right, so we go back in yeah. forward. Go, go for the ramp as, as plan A, yeah? Take what? I've got over there. That's what's happening. Uh, don't go there. <laughs> Coming out of the water, that's the hardest bit. Once we're in the water
but to try and get uh, the wheels to come down before the propeller hits the bank and then coming out again. There's, there's so many levers and combinations of four-wheel drive, two-wheel drive and anything else that it was really hard work to try and work out.